How you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, relaxing evening. I've made a video in a while. I've been pretty busy with uh, some joint projects and some other things going on, but thankfully those things are starting to wind down. We're starting to uh, settle those things out a little bit and be able to devote a little more time to my channel. Uh, so today I want to share with you guys some of my latest pickups and I also want to talk a little bit about my thoughts on what's coming for us as stackers here in the immediate future. Okay, so if you interested in any of that, stick around. So before we get into this video, I want to share with you guys a letter I got from a viewer to the channel, one of my subscribers uh, named Joe, and he writes, Hello, Silver Joker. Just wanted to take the time to thank you for taking the time to make videos that truly inspire me to invest in silver. I hope all is well with you and your family in these unpredictable times. Stay blessed. Uh, thank you, Joe. And you're right. Absolutely right. These are truly unpredictable times. Um, but he also sent this beautiful reverse proof wolf privy canadian maple leaf now this coin right here this 2016 there was only 50,000 of these reverse proofs minted and you guys know about the reverse proof these are the ones where the canadian mint they hold back a certain number of planchettes or blanks and then they strike them with this 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 little uh privy uh so they don't have to change out change the whole image on the on their coins um, and this is, is usually to commemorate something. In this case, they're the wildlife series. And uh, um, this wildlife series, including the wolf here, the timber wolf, is also the grizzly bear, the cougar, moose, pronghorn, antelope, and the wood bison. And um, so this is a fantastic gift. I appreciate that very much, Joe. And he also sent me this 90%, this, uh, so this is constitutional silver, Colombian half. Now, this was minted in the United States, uh, and they struck them in 1893, and um, they're, uh, they're 50 cents value, uh, so you could buy these at the time for a dollar because they were to commemorate uh, the, um, 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 you know, Columbus. So it's, it, on the face is Christopher Columbus, and on the reverse is, the, um, is his famous ship, the Santa Maria, over two hemispheres, over two globes. And um, and they only minted a certain amount of those as well. I'm not sure exactly how many, but it was a limited number because it was a commemorative coin. So this is a very special gift as well. And like I said, they're 90% silver. So they're absolutely solidly con constitutional silver. And they're just fantastic. And I appreciate that so much, Joe. And watch your mail because you will absolutely be getting a gift from me. And like I said, if I open your mail on uh, my channel and feature it in my video or show it in my video, I will absolutely send you a gift. So thank you very much, Joe. I appreciate that. And these will go into the Do Not Move um, collection. So thank you very much. All right. So before we get started, just very quickly, I just want to uh, uh, give you guys a, a rare disclaimer. I don't do a lot of disclaimers, but what I'm going to talk about today, I believe I need to make something very clear. I am not a financial expert, and this is not meant to be uh, financial or investment advice. I'm going to tell you my personal thoughts and my personal feelings about what I think is coming as far as stacking silver goes. And I'm going to share with you guys my personal beliefs. And that's all they are, personal beliefs based on, you know, some of the people that I've talked to and just some of my experiences from stacking silver for as long as I've been stacking it. So I'll give you that. But this is not advice. If you want expert advice about how to invest in precious metals, then you need to find an expert in that field. I am not that at all, nor have I consulted an expert on any kind of official capacity about the information that I'm going to give you. So this is just my personal opinion about how I see stacking on a personal level and how it'll benefit me and my family and perhaps maybe benefit you and your family. Okay, so having said that, I just want to say this. Silver and gold in the 1970s were 
nowhere near where they are today. Silver in 1970 averaged about $1.50 an ounce. Yes, $1.50 an ounce. Now, gold averaged around $38 to $40 an ounce. Yeah, that's right. $38 to $40 an ounce for gold in the 1970s, which wasn't that long ago, comparatively. So I know that I'm getting a lot of comments of people saying, well, you had inflation was different, value of things were different, pricing structure was different, all these kind of things, and you're right about that. But the point I want to make is it, it rose, silver rose in value, continued to gain in value over the years. Okay, so that's important because we as stackers, at some point, we believe that the dollar is not going to continue to gain in value. In fact, it's going to start to decrease rapidly here pretty soon. Now, that is just a personal prediction of mine based on just what I see around me. Now, you know, where what silver price is in America is the same silver price in Canada. That spot price is worldwide. So that silver value is worldwide. Now, you're going to get premiums that are going to fluctuate all around, but that basic value is going to be worldwide. That's silver and gold. You can't say the same thing about government's currencies, the printed uh, fiat. You can't say that about that. So to give me peace of mind, I stack a lot of this, a lot of silver bullion. And I do that because it has intrinsic value. It has value that's going to go beyond governments. Um, when you and I uh, are left with no fiat currency, all we're going to have is this right here, this silver or gold. And then we will agree, we will agree on what the price or the value is of that because it's always going to have value. Now, value means that we give it a price. I mean, if you believe something has value, you will offer a price for it. So that's where that comes in. So as long as it retains that value, you be able you will be able to um assign it a price and that price is going to be based on what you need and those things are going to come in the future when that fiat currency has no longer has any value you're going to have to have something with value that you can use as currency that you can put a price on based on what you need if you need a a apple or you need a, a, a hammer or you need some bullets well, that price is going to be decided by you and whoever you're dealing with. But the value that they put in that silver is going to give that silver that price. And that price is going to be paid for whatever you need. Now, at some point, the dollars are not going to be able to do that. The value is not going to be there, so the price is going to be gone. I mean, we've all heard the stories about, you know, in Zimbabwe, they were using the currency uh, to wrap fish. Uh, so, you know, that'll tell you that, you know, hyperinflation is a real thing. And if you look at what's going on, that's a big possibility here. Now, imagine this. If you had 20 ounces of silver in Zimbabwe, you could use that 20 ounces of silver to buy what 20 ounces of silver value is worth anywhere in the world. Now, try that with the Zimbabwean dollar. I mean, it just won't work. And that's going to be the same thing with these other government currencies, I believe, in the future. So it behooves you. And like I said, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. It behooves you to stack as much of this, especially in the short term here, or what's coming. Um, just to be on the safe side, stack as much of this silver as you can possibly stack. Put as much in your stack as you can. Now, you have to keep... Until Walmart and Shell gas station uh, starts to take silver bullion, you're still going to need some fiat. All right. I do have some fiat, uh, but I'm starting to have a little more. I'm starting to put a little more of my savings into precious metals because I just think that, you know, there's going to be a time very soon that we're going to we're going to need that. Okay, so that's all I want to say about that. Uh, I was, you know, I took, like I said, I took some time off, had some projects I was working on, but I'm getting back to normal um, posting, uh, more videos, going out to see more uh, coin store owners, and I'm going to be going and, and visiting private people who sell silver, uh, and I'll be taking you guys with me. And those things are coming. I got a few things lined up, but they're just a little bit in the future because you know, right now, 
with November, December is a little bit hectic, but I definitely plan on getting out and uh, visiting some of the coin stores, Phil and Clay, and maybe a few others around my city. So be on the lookout for that. And also, we're about to name our channel. And once that happens, you won't see the joint projects on my channel. You will have our own channel for that. And I think that's better because I would prefer that. And so we're going to do that. So as soon as our channel is named, and we'll, we'll be announcing the winner of that on the 30th. Uh, we'll, everything that we do jointly will be on that channel. And we'll give you guys all the information so you can um, visit us there. So anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you guys, you know, just all your well wishing, all the people asking me, am I okay? Because <laughs> I've been not making videos for a while. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. And, uh, you know, let's just keep the silver train rolling. I mean, you know, we got things that we have to do. And then we got things that we need to do. And I would say uh, stacking silver is absolutely a need to do thing. All right. If you got to go outside, you need to wear a mask. That's my personal opinion. You do what you want to do. I'm doing it. Uh, but I would say it's a benefit for you and the people around you. So if you go outside and you got to be around other people, consider wearing a mask. Uh, it is that important. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.